identity theft, fraud, and ethics violations. Those are the charges two state employees working for the Department of Human Resources in Bruton face after police say the women use their positions to obtain fraudulent loans. As News 5's Pat Peterson reports, four others, including an employee at a cash advance store, are accused of stealing tens of thousands of dollars in a loan scheme that went on for nearly two years. In a small town that still believes in faith and family values, trust goes a long way in Bruton. Wow. Uh, That's why many here were disappointed when they found out six of their neighbors, including two state DHR employees, were arrested and charged with identity theft, fraud, and possession of a forged instrument. That's a bad thing. Robert Green well, knows a few of the suspects. If you're doing wrong, you're going to get caught. Bruton police say the two DHR employees used client information, including social security numbers, to obtain fraudulent loans at this local cash advance store. Investigators say since 2013, the group built the company out of more than $40,000. Bruton police Lieutenant Brock Holt explains how the loan scam worked. They were able to get social security numbers and date of births and other identifying information from different sources. They would take that information up to the business. When they take it to the business, they had the inside source that would help them obtain the loans. So when they obtained the loans, they'd walk out with the cash money. And when the loan defaulted, the company wasn't able to get up with anybody. No money or anything like that or from child support or anything like that has been taken from the Department of Human Resources. It's all the money has been from the uh, title cash place itself. In all, the group faces more than 400 counts of fraud. Identity theft is a big issue, and, and it's becoming more and more easier to do, especially with technology today. Now, Monique Louise and Marilyn Bass, those two DHR workers, they also face ethics violations charges. DHR officials would not talk to us about the arrest or the investigation. Live in the Baldwin County Newsroom, Pat Peterson, News 5.